Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 Gen 3 headphones. Uh, these are gaming headphones that are going to support your Xbox, your PlayStation, uh, various devices, including uh, Bluetooth devices as well. We're going to do a EVP man style call quality and audio test, and we'll check out all the features. So let's get right to it. Now, the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 Gen 3 has lots of connectivity options. We're talking about you can connect this to anything because it has two main connection options. First of all, the USB dongle. And that USB dongle is going to connect to your Xbox and allow you to, you know, connect to your whatever series of Xbox you have and get into gaming immediately. Uh, but that dongle also works on phones. It works on machines like desktops and tablets. So it really opens up things that you can connect. And guess what? It also has Bluetooth. So if you don't want to connect via dongle and you want to connect to your phone, tablet, PC, because they're Bluetooth enabled, you could do that as well. So really the type of connectivity options that you can work with are limitless. It's all limited to the device that you want to connect to. Now, it also has a great mic design as you're going to see in a couple seconds. Basically, you do have a AI based mic noise reduction. The app that it has also allows you to control a lot of what's going on in the headphone. It has a lot of configurability. And what I love is that it has a app on your phone that allows you to configure these things, even if you're connected to another device. So that's pretty incredible for me because I can configure things to my choice. And you're going to see that in a couple seconds. It also then has an 80 hour battery life with fast charging, like 15 minutes is going to give you eight and a half hours of battery life. Now it does have a quick switch button. Uh, unfortunately, it does not support multi pair, which means that you can have physical connection USB or not physical wireless connection USB and then uh, also Bluetooth at the same time. You have to switch from one or the other. And uh, so that is a difference, right? But it's something that you'd have to consider depending on how you're using the headset. Uh, it, this is, USB dongle or the the actual USB dongle is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection. And again, you're going to be able to use this on a variety of devices. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the headset. We're going to talk about fit and comfort, and then we'll go through a series of tests. All right. So taking a closer look at the stealth, uh, this is a really good looking headphone. I really like this. And a couple things you'll notice is that the ear cups come out nice and easy. And basically you have some really nice memory foam here. Now, one of the things I just wanted to highlight, and you're going to see this when I put this on, the ear cups themselves aren't really open or they don't really have a large opening here. So they tend to, depending on the size of your ear, to rest on your ear, not or inside. Your ear doesn't go inside of this. So depending on your size, just be aware of that. Now, it does then have, you'll notice uh, here the way the connectivity is and, and all the swivel options that you have. So you can swivel these and, for example, put it like this. If you have them on a hook, let's say, they would be able to hook like this as well. The top portion has memory foam, but I'm going to tell you, for the size of my head, I found that they were, an occasion, some vicing. There's some vicing there, so it was a little bit tight. And I found that I felt a squeeze. Um, I'm hoping that with extended use, they kind of stretch out a little bit so that I could get a more comfortable fit. But I found a little vicing with these, right? Now over here, you have a lot of buttons. Uh, first of all, you have volume button, chat button. You also have a toggle. This little toggle right here is going to be able to switch between different connection options. This is your Bluetooth pairing button. Here's your different EQ modes that you can cycle through, USB-C power button. And then what you have is your mic right here that you pop uh, open there. And this is what the USB dongle looks like. And you'll notice that there's a couple uh, options here. You could actually switch it to say I'm on an Xbox or you can switch it to USB. Now, when you switch it to USB, this is where it opens things up because if I had a USB A to USB C connector, which I do, I connected it to my phone and it worked. I connected it to my PC, either USB A or USB C and it worked. I connected it to a whole host of devices and it worked. Uh, now, keep in mind, I could do Bluetooth, Bluetooth as well. And with Bluetooth, it worked too. So, Really nice little dongle that gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to how you use these guys. And uh, again, love the flexibility. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this on for a second so you can see what this looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And this is where I was talking about. Check a look at this for a second. We're going to put this back on the overhead and you can see that's the, the flex there. It's kind of hard to communicate it over video, but it's, it's hard to flex. It doesn't really flex really, really uh, easily. And I'm going to put this on my head right here. And you could see right here, the way this is shaped, right? It's kind of like flat versus uh, 
you know, the arc that you typically see. And that's where I feel some pressure coming down. So I don't know why, but this should be lifted a little bit. Now, it doesn't have a lot of space here, which I like. And then this is what you see them look like. Now, for my ears, I don't have really big ears. So you can see my ears. When I put these on, my ears tend to tuck away. They are getting inside of that area. But if you have larger ears, that may be something that you should be aware of. So here's what it looks like this side. And this is what it looks like on this side. Now, if I take down the mic, I hear a, a audible beep. And also, I'm actually hearing what's going on around me. So I, there is some situational awareness. The mic is also tiltable. See this right here? And, it, and you actually feel it. There's feedback. I hear like a cluck clunk, cluck clunk, cluck clunk. Right, so there, there's like a little switch that goes on there that I see that I can actually feel. It's very tactile in nature. But now this is with the mic, right? And if I wanna bring this up, it goes up. And remember, I did switch it. So if I do this, notice how it goes back. So I can flip it up when it's in this position as well. So that's pretty cool. So let's go straight into the mic and music test. And what I wanna tell you about the music is that it does have a lot of configurability to have bass, mids, and highs. It has bass boost uh, technology. And what I'll say is that while bass is present, it's not head thumping. It's not, um, from an acoustics perspective, the type that you would have if this was really focused towards audiophiles. Now, from a gaming perspective, total different, total different experience here. Right? From a gaming perspective, you're talking about very much situational awareness. There's some really cool features in the app that give you the ability to almost have super hearing. As a matter of fact, they call it super hearing. So if you're gaming and you want to be able to hear footsteps, things that are happening around you, especially if you want to have that advantage and you're, you're very competitive gamer, these got some really cool features that you can enable to just be very situationally aware in dark areas, some scenes where maybe if you're doing some first person uh, combat type uh, situations, you'll be able to use these to get a competitive advantage. So let's check out the audio test, right? And we'll also check out the mic text, mic test next. All right, we're going to do this differently this time. I can, you know what? I could probably, I wonder if I could do the screen record. That's going to be interesting. So let's do the screen record and see if it picks it up during the screen record. All right, guys. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the app. And at the same time, we're going to be recording the audio coming from the boom mic as we're doing this test. So we're going to switch from the mic that we're using for this recording to this. And a couple of things we'll see in the app. And we're very, really in the first area here. You'll notice that you have this superhuman hearing area. And this is going to give you the ability, again, to be more situationally aware. And as you increase that, it's going to give you the ability to be even more aware. So you'll want to adjust this based on your experience. There's also another feature that um, you won't be able to see until you're uh, paired to the transmitter, which is uh, this little guy right here, right? We don't have it connected. We're right now connected via Bluetooth. You have basically signature sound, which is the voice preset that I'm in right now. So this is what signature sound is going to sound like. I'm going to switch the uh, signature sound in a couple minutes. Uh, and now you also then have gaming presets. 
and do from the top. Now, as you can see here, the app is pretty robust. It has a lot of stuff going on here. It's probably one of the most uh, robust apps that I found for a mobile phone for a headset that is designed for gaming. So here you basically have your superhuman, and your superhuman is going to give you the ability to hear everything that's going on around you. It's going to give you the ability to hear those footsteps, be more situationally aware, and hopefully have a competitive edge in your gaming. And you can increase that and change that. You also then have over here different gaming presets. So I have signature sound, bass boost, bass boost in treble, and vocal boost. Again, it all depends on the game that you're playing and the experience that you're looking to get. I found that bass, mids, and highs, there's music separation. If you're listening to these in a pure music mode, I don't think that they, um, they have that uh, immersive bass that you'd have in music, but in gaming, it did really well. Now, in the mic area, we have a lot of different things going on here. First of all, you have mic sensitivity, you have noise gate, and noise gate is going to eliminate the noise that you have around you. So, uh, for example, I'm going to type. I'm going to see how much of that is actually coming through in the mic. But then what I could do is I can increase the noise gate. So I can take it from where it is right now and bring it up to this area right here, which is going to increase the noise gate. And I'm going to try typing again. And we'll see how much of this is going to be uh, coming through. Now, you do have, um, and we're going to go back to uh, the normal uh, noise gate. I'm going to put it back a little bit further back. But you could also increase the mic monitoring volume, how much you're going to be hearing of the voice coming through. And you could go ahead and increase that. You can set your mic sensitivity. You can set your, mute, your mic to mute. I'm going to go ahead and choose signature sound. And now you'll hear an audible beep when it does that. So now the audio or what the mic is picking up is using the signature sound mode. And we'll see what the audio quality looks like. Uh, the next option is full. This is the full mic mode. And again, these are our default presets uh, for the mic uh, equalizer. So this is again, full. Now we're gonna go into um, clarity. And now in the clarity mode, now you're hearing clarity. And again, this is the default press uh, preset for clarity. So we'll go ahead and switch to smooth. Now this is a smooth mode. And with each one of these settings I've been changing, I hear this beep sound that tells me that I'm in each one of these settings. So this is then the smooth. I'm going to go into, let's say, signature sound. So now we're in signature sound again. Let's check out other aspects of the app. So here you could see that there is customization for headset. There's customization for the transmitter. In the headset, you could do voice and tone, auto off, the transmitter. You can, again, if it's connected, you'll see it. Whichever option that you're in, in this case, I am in Bluetooth. And then you have some LED brightness options as well. And then over here, this is going to be your settings where you'll be able to get your firmware and everything updated. I have the most current firmware. It's already been updated. There's nothing to worry there. All right, let's see how that works. Okay, so we're gonna have to do this again. We wanna go into the recorder, so the voice recorder. All right, so let's see. We're going to see if we can do this simultaneously. Let's try to see if I could. Hmm. Well, I can do the overhead shot. The overhead shot I can do, and I can reduce this light right here. So we'll do that again. Yeah, I think that would work.
Let's go ahead and reduce that a little bit more. That seems to be better. All right, so let's go over here and start from the beginning. All right, so now we're going to take a closer look at the app, and we're also going to modify some of the settings. I'm actually recording everything now coming from this mic so that we can hear how things go. So uh, first of all, you can see this is probably one of the most robust apps I've seen that come with a headphone uh, gaming app kind of support. Uh, basically, you see here your connectivity options if you're connected via the dongle, which we're not. Xbox, you see he superhuman hearing, and that superhuman hearing is going to be, again, giving you that advantage when you're doing gaming and you want to be situationally aware and hearing the footsteps around you, and you can increase that. You have some chat features here that are not enabled right now because we're not connected, and you could choose uh, various sound presets when you're gaming. You could either be signature sound, bass boost. You could also do uh, bass boost and treble boost and also vocal boost. So this is going to give you, again, more of that immersive experience that we talked about. Um, on this side, under microphone, you also have some more options. And the first one is you have microphone sensitivity. You also then have noise gate, which is about the noise that's around you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap and see how much of my tapping is being picked up uh, here. And hopefully, as we modify this, the noise gate should cancel more of it. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the noise gate. And I'm now going to tap again. So I'm right now tapping. And I'm chatting, and I'm going to see how much of that tapping is coming through. And I want to bring it back to what it was a couple seconds ago. Now, the other thing that you have is also mic monitoring volume so that you can kind of hear, you know, what's going on there. You can increase that and decrease that. It kind of does me a little crazy. I don't have to hear myself. Over here, you have then the sound settings. And right now, we've been using the signature sound. So I'm going to switch to full. You get a couple of beeps, and now we're recording using the full sound. So this is a test, one, two, three, this is a test. We're, we're basically using full sound. Got a couple of beeps and we switch to clarity. So this is the clarity setting. This is a test, one, two, three, this is a test. This is the clarity setting. And the last setting, we got the double beeps. The last setting is smooth. So this is what the smooth setting is gonna sound like. This is what smooth sounds like. This is a test, one, two, three, this is a test. And we're gonna go back to the signature sound. And now we're back is the signature sound. So really, really robust offering there. And we'll see how the audio quality comes out. You have a lot of customization options here. So basically you have voice and tone presets that you can have auto off. Over here you can set with your uh, transmitter some options. And then over here you're going to go into your firmware and update the device. So a really flexible app. And if you're connected to your Xbox via the, the dongle, right, if you're using this guy, there's some more things that open up. When I shut my feelings out, you look at me like I'm different. Still, you stay because you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I, 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 I feel like So the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 Gen 3s ha are great gaming headsets. Uh, I'd say that the only thing I'd like to see improved is the vicing that you have right here for the size and shape of my head. Outside of that, you know, they're, they look great. I like the mic. I like the ability to turn this on and off. I love the fact that they swivel. And I'm really impressed with the capabilities in the app. It's a pretty robust app. I haven't seen one that gives you that many configuration choice on a mobile device. And guess what? I can even update the firmware on a mobile device with the dongle. So there's a lot of flexibility there. So that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.